So for people to say, Oh, mineral oil is a harsh chemical, it's bad for you, it's a carcinogen. Is a bunch of rhetoric that people use to keep consumers spending more money. Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, popularly known as Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Now today we're going to be debunking the myths surrounding mineral oil. If you've been here before, you already know that we've been on a mission to change this natural hair community one ingredient at a time. <laughs> if you've never been here before, welcome. That means you've probably never seen my video all about debunking the myths surrounding petrolatum, which I'm going to link for your viewing pleasure in the top right corner. Be sure to open it up in another window so that you can view it after viewing this video. Now, anyway, before we get into this video, I'd like you all to please go on over to my Dubai vlog. I had so much fun in Dubai before this global crisis hit so be sure to check that out and of course you all are seeing the imagery from that trip it was a good and sexy time y'all so check that out for some different content on my channel now i don't want to waste your time i want to get right into this but of course i have to remind you to do the four simple things i always remind you all to do which are to please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up it lets youtube know that you enjoy this kind of content Please be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. Please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what ingredient you want me to do next. And last but never ever can be least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Now without any further ado, let's get right into this. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at fxzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at fxzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to so that's the best place to reach me. Now one myth I continue to hear perpetuated is that mineral oil cannot be removed. And people even go a step further to say that since it can't be removed, it's gonna build up forever and your hair is just gonna be a clogged up mess and gonna start falling out your head and catastrophe. <laughs> no, obviously that's not going to happen. Come on now, it can be removed with pretty much any surfactant that you use on your hair or your body. Like seriously, of course, some are going to be more effective than others, but when I'm using mineral oil or any distillate of petroleum, I like to use sulfates, maybe a sulfate free synthetic detergent. I might even use a soap. Soap is one of my favorites because it's not as harsh as detergents typically, depending on the type of soap that you're using, it can be easily diluted and they're a bit more natural. And I know that's a buzzword in this community. Now, if you'd like to see the types of products I use to remove distillates of petroleum, then please check out my products video and to see where to place them, I also have a regimen building video. This will also help you determine when and how you need to actually remove mineral oil from your hair. So I'm going to just link them in a playlist in the top right. But y'all, come on now, you can totally remove mineral oil from your hair. I don't know who started passing that around, but that's absurd. That's really absurd. <laughs> now the second lie from the pits of hell is that mineral oil clogs your pores. Now I can understand why people will believe that, but I mean, it's 2020 and I think it's important for us to know at this stage that things like petroleum jelly, aka petrolatum, and mineral oil are non-comedogenic. That means they do not clog your pores. If you feel that they're clogging your pores, it might be the additives and not the product itself. So that's something that's very important to note. The mineral oil itself will not cause you to break out. Now the third myth is that mineral oil is contaminated with carcinogens. Now it's certainly true that certain petroleum derivatives contain carcinogenic material such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or PAHs which you all can learn more about in my truth about grease video which I'm going to link in the top right corner. However, with things like mineral oil and petrolatum, they are so purified and refined that all of those contaminants are completely eradicated. The purification of these petroleum derivatives is actually regulated by the FDA, which is the United States Food and Drug Administration, and other international agencies. 
So basically, until somebody presents me with a study that says mineral oil, cosmetic grade mineral oil, is a true carcinogen, I'm not gonna believe that nonsense. That's a bunch of snake oil, y'all. That's a myth. It's a myth. Now the fourth myth is that mineral oil dries out the skin and causes premature aging. Now the irony is that oils and other lubricants prevent trans epidermal water loss, which is basically a fancy term for moisture passing across your skin and your skin drying out, period. Mineral oil is actually a phenomenal barrier between your skin and the air and prevents that trans epidermal water loss. So it actually keeps moisture in your skin. It does not dry out your skin and cause premature aging, especially if you've moisturized your skin properly prior to applying a product with mineral oil. But in fact, there are a lot of moisturizers formulated with mineral oil to seal in the ingredients that actually do indeed nourish the skin. So that's another lie from the pits of hell. And it's just really problematic rhetoric to continue to circulate. With that being said, something that accompanies that is that mineral oil dries out the hair. Mineral oil does not dry out your hair. It dries out dry hair because it's highly occlusive. But if you're using it properly, which is to seal in moisture, then your hair is going to stay moisturized for significantly longer than it would if you used a plant oil or an animal fat. Now, another myth is that mineral oil robs the hair and the skin of essential vitamins and nutrients and prevents the skin and the hair from breathing. First of all, your hair is dead. It doesn't breathe. So that's literally just completely fallible. I don't even know what to say. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And it's non-comedogenic. It doesn't clog your pores. And seeing as mineral oil doesn't have any negative effect on the vitamins and minerals in your skin, there's no way it could possibly be robbing your skin of nutrients that it needs, so. Now we've gone this far, so I wanna try something a bit different. I want to explain to you why you will see a lot of companies lie about mineral oil and its effectiveness. Hey my Z stars, so before we move on to the next point, I have a few questions for you all. What absurd things have you heard about mineral oil? What kind of myths, what kind of lies? Let me know in the comments down below. What's one product you use or have used that contains mineral oil and that makes your hair feel fantastic? What did you learn from this video? Has your perspective changed? Have you always loved mineral oil or are you team no mineral oil? Okay, let's get back to the video. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. Now, mineral oil is very, very affordable. So it's easy to use in formulations because it's going to do the job and it's extremely effective. So that's another reason why it's very easy to use in certain formulations. Now, a lot of big companies use mineral oil again because it's so easily accessible and it's so affordable and it's extremely effective. All of these newer natural and smaller companies want you to buy from them. So they have to find a reason for you to hate products that you've probably been using for decades. For instance, pink oil moisturizer, baby oil, motions, which I used to use when I was young, y'all, and other such products. Now, a lot of the companies that you buy from that tout natural hair products don't have the same reach that these larger brands do, so they use this rhetoric against them. Now, I'm not trying to advocate for large brands owned by white people who don't have hair textures like ours. I'm just saying that it's misleading and false advertisement to say that mineral oil is bad for you and to like use that as a selling point, especially because mineral oil is significantly more effective than plant-based oils and any kinds of like oils derived from animal fat because it's really easy for people to bandwagon, which is another logical fallacy. It's very easy for them to tout these lies and just get the masses to believe them. I mean, how many years has it been? And a lot of skincare and hair care brands are like, I mean, that doesn't make the products any better. It just makes it more challenging in my own humble opinion to actually keep the moisture in simply because again, other things, other oils, other substitutes are not going to be as occlusive as mineral oil. 
Now it's really important for brands to actually give you a reason why their products are superior to these other products. Now to be fair, a lot of these smaller brands do use higher quality ingredients in certain instances, but again, mineral oil is a phenomenal occlusive and it works really well to keep moisture in the hair and in the skin. So to say that mineral oil is bad gives the consumer a reason to believe that the product from a smaller brand or a natural brand is more effective than a product that does indeed work well but uses cheaper ingredients. Now there's also the false belief that natural is better. This is really, really, really problematic for a number of reasons. That's like saying poison ivy is better for you because it comes from nature. How absurd is that? And the irony is that mineral oil literally flipping comes from a natural process. It comes from breakdown of fossils into fossil fuel. It's a distillate of petroleum, which comes from the earth. It's literally natural. So for people to say, oh, mineral oil is a harsh chemical, it's bad for you, it's a carcinogen. It's a bunch of rhetoric that people use to market their own products and keep consumers spending more money. Our global economy is consumer driven, so it makes sense that these marketing tactics would persist. I get it because a lot of people do not necessarily have the time to do this kind of research or look into these things in more depth, but I think it's important to be vigilant and actually take the time to understand these things so that we can make informed decisions about what it is that we purchase and then let's go a further step and say make informed decisions about how we formulate our own products because we're really like making a big fuss for no reason to be honest we're using things that are more expensive more difficult to come by all to satisfy this false rhetoric now to be fair i know that there are people who don't appreciate petroleum products because of sustainability but it works it works. Now I hope that this video was helpful for you all. I hope that it opened your eyes about the truth about mineral oil and I hope that you can use this to make more informed decisions about how you purchase products. Now let me know down below what mineral oil products you've used. Have you used the pink oil moisturizer? Have you used motions? Did they work for you? Do you like them? Do you still use them? What do you use now on your hair? Let me know. I'm actually quite curious. <laughs> And I'm sure that we all have stories about those hair lotions. Now, if you've made it this far, you already know what to do. Drop a blue emoji in the comment section down below. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Please don't forget to give this video one big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Again, let me know what mineral oil products you use. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but can never ever be least be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. I love you all so much. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video.